Hello everybody, Flick here, it's time for yet another Let's Look At, and today we are taking a look at Oxenfree by Night School Studio. I have actually finished this, I played it in a couple of sittings, and it took me about four hours. So I guess you could count this as a review, I'd still prefer just to always kind of keep these as me just sharing impressions while you decide for yourself whether it's something you're interested in, but it is a game I have finished in its entirety, seen the ending, etc. What is it? It's a, I guess it's sort of like a point and click, it's, it's an interactive 2D story about a group of students who go to an island to have a, a night of drinking and whatnot. They accidentally awaken something and then some spooky stuff happens. It's a game where the conversations your characters are constantly having is exceptionally important to help kind of craft the story that you want to tell. So it's it's going to be quite hard to play and let the story be conveyed while at the same time also worrying about spoilers. So I'm not going to show off too much of the game but I'm, I'm going to bury the lead a little bit here by saying I thoroughly enjoyed the game. I, I do recommend it. So if you're just here for some first impressions and don't want anything spoiled, there you go. The only letdown really is I think it's a little bit expensive for how short it is. So that's my overall feelings. We, we now will have a look at the first 15 minutes or so of the game, maybe 20, 25. There's a point, a point I want to get to to show that it's not just a bunch of teenagers on an island. And then that'll do. But we'll start here and when you finish your game you automatically get reset. There's some interesting stuff going on in the game as well. I I don't really want to spoil it. There's there's a couple of telltale game type things going on. There's also a, another thing that I, I don't even want to hint, hint at because if you don't get what it is you'll be very surprised by the end. When it first happened in the game I had an inkling about what, went, what was happening and then when it happened a second time I was like oh that's what's happening that's actually very clever. It's it's something I've seen done before in a different indie game that I didn't cover on the channel. But anyway, let's jump into a brand new game. And we should hear some voice acting in a second here. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. The and voice cast is excellent, by the way. For a bit, unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man! Those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. So we're playing as Alex, who is the blue haired lady here. So, speech bubbles appear over your head, and as it's staying here, you left click to talk. However, very, very often, your speech is timed. You don't have long in some situations to press an option. Not saying anything is also an option. I can see and hear things at the same time. Something, something, cookies, or whatever. Perfect. You're right on the money. I'm moving with WASD, by the way, and you can so left click to interact and also press uh, space bar to do stuff not, like that. Not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a. You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait. What so you saw that my speech bubbles were disappearing very quickly there. You don't have long sometimes. He thought she worked there and blah blah blah. They hit it off. Ah, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was um, I'd been out of school and the timing had just never worked out. So what does that make you to her then? Hey, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. Oh yeah, I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling, living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating your food. Smelling up your bathroom. I don't know, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Just a klepto. So, you're in luck. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> ah, Ren, why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so, how do you It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like... Fine, just hold the camera out. That's the thing, if you get in the habit of pressing what you want to see very, very quickly, 
You will very often cut off what someone's saying, but sometimes you have to. That might get annoying, I'm not sure. Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk, right? Patient Zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? I can indeed. There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. Alright, so once we're on the island, I'll talk a bit more. I'm just kind of letting this intro play out, so I am going to start talking over them talking and just kind of playing in the background. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. All right, so now we're going on to the island. So as I was saying, it took me just over four hours to get through the game, and it kept me engrossed for pretty much the whole thing. I, I knew that it had some kind of twist about it being, let's say, supernatural, based on the trailer, etc. So I knew something was going to happen, and then once stuff started happening, I was I was thoroughly engaged, and I wanted to know where the story was going. You can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Let's say that we're not a smoker. Uh, no, thanks. I, don't I don't know how the little decisions yeah, escape no, the story. To be honest, by the time I got to the end, I, I'd, I'd had a complete experience. I think I got the best ending. I'm not 100% on that. But even if I could change the way certain small conversations go, like for example, staying here to talk with Jonas, does it really affect anything? Just. Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? I would have liked to be able to go back to the final act of the game to maybe see how things could play out differently there, but the journey to the final act, it doesn't really matter to me if it played out slightly differently. I'm content with the way it played out for me the first time through, so there isn't much replayability, which is also why I think the RRP of uh, 1499 is a little bit expensive. Only a little bit though, because it's still a very good experience. It's Got a good team behind it, clearly, and they got good voice actors. Alright, so we've got rid of Ren. Ren is probably the worst, actually. I dislike his his voice actor. It's a little bit too goofy. Everyone else is great, though. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, he's... Look, just what did you want to talk to me about before I suspect something nefarious? No, it's nothing. It's not The music is very good as well, by the way. I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything and I guess it's just for me I, I, I've never moved the so way I like you get to choose family, in a manner of speaking at certain time, points kind of, kind of like, like who's following you as you explore the story I kind of stuck with Jonas the whole way and then that kind of makes the the story more about Alex and Jonas growing as a not literal blood siblings but you know step siblings <laughs> yeah I'm an optimist I imagine if you took someone else other than Jonas through most of the game, it becomes maybe if you take Ren, it becomes about your best friend, that kind of stuff. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. You can also make a large part of the story about Alex's former brother, like blood sibling who passed away. Yeah, you know. To a certain extent, the background stuff in the story is there for you to ignore or to make the focus 
and then there's also this overarching theme that we'll hopefully see the start of by the end of this video, depending on how fast I can get there. I won't bother stopping to examine anything, we'll just go and try and get on there. By the way, you can also buy a version of the game with the OST included for £18.99 as opposed to £14, so you're paying an extra £4 for the OST. I think it's worth it, I like it a lot. And we saw who did it in the opening credits there. So yeah, normally you'd want to stop and explore, you get information not just about where you are, but about your characters, because you get to pose a choice of questions. It might be coming across a little bit boring, a little bit too kind of like, not sitcom-y, but you know. It's a bunch of teenagers worrying about teenager stuff, so if you're a, a bit of an old fart like me, you don't really care. It becomes more important once you hear more of their backstory and the spooky stuff starts happening. On the subject of the spooky stuff, it's the perfect style for me, where it's not about scaring you with jump scares, it's about creating a spooky atmosphere. There is kind of... Oh, I missed an option there. There is a there's a few bits where you know there's sudden sound cues and kind of visual stuff that might give you a little bit of a jump, but it doesn't rely on that to create the atmosphere that it's going for. And I always salute that anytime I see it in a game with a spooky twist, because it means they're not being lazy. They're actually making an effort to create a sinister atmosphere that will make you unnerved rather than just startling you with you know. Weirdo something case. appearing on the screen suddenly right in your face and screaming at you. Is because when you go to the, it's like the front, the mouth, the mouth of this particular cave. You can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. So this is the main gist of what we're going to be doing. Sound. It's um, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. By the way, when the speech bubbles appear with someone's head, that, that's never been explained. But my guess is it's paying attention to something you said. Alright, that's bringing up my map. I pressed control too early. There we are. think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. But yeah, Maggie Adler. That's it. The only person who lives here. She's never left the island. I can't imagine living in the same That's another thing, actually. If she was the only person who lived here, why is there like a gift shop and stuff? Well... It takes a certain that bothered me. Like, there's a modern you know day uh, gift shop where Ren's sister works. And we actually, we can kind of shut him up. <laughs> just going. There we go. <clears throat> no offense, Ren. But I just want to get to a certain point and then not show anymore because I, I really don't want to spoil the story. And that makes it hard to talk about because I'd very much like to talk about where it goes and the supernatural element and, and the reasons behind it, etc. But it is something that you should be. You should enjoy for yourself. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl. I'll let this conversation no, play out and the one on the beach. So I'll I'll, I'll talk a little bit less for a little bit and then we'll get into the final thing I want to show off. You know, just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Red. Relax. Oh, and okay, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tails or something? Uh, Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey, we started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as a daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, this is his first night here, so everybody be on your best behavior. This is our Treat cast, by the way. What a scary dog. Palms out. <laughs> That's, um, I don't bite. It's fine. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah, um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Uh, My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? There's nobody else coming. Where it? What? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Uh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. Listen to yourself. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? 
I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Oh, sorry. I accept your apology. What did I do? You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? All right, let's shut Ren up again. <laughs> I apologize, Ren. But you talk too much. In the intro, anyway. Right, so we get a beach scene, and then we're going to do the final scene that I want to show off in this little introduction to the game. There will be a link to the Steam Store page to pick it up for yourself. As far as I'm aware, this is the uh, Night School Studios' first outing. I might be wrong about that. So I think it's their first outing on Steam at the very least. Fire. Man's great so while people chat here, you can just so do, you know, can interact the, um, with stuff if you want. What's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so... Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth. But if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay. So, first, we're gonna... I'll start. Red. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Uh -huh. Oh, man. You're good at this. Well, if being good means being kind of mean about it... Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no. just say so. I, I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... That's all. She's cool. She's... She's just a friend. Oh, I'm no. siding with Ren because Clarissa is the stereotypical bitch. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. I just have to think about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. I'm going to do different answers here just because I'd like to and see where it goes. It's family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I think I'd marry you, actually. We know each other the best, so not a lot of surprises there. Perfect. Stay at home, husband. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Uh... The dirty bit. Clarissa, obviously. <laughs> obviously. You're not going to call her out on that? No, I believe her. I mean, look at me. Which means, of course, that you'd smother poor Nona with a pillow. Really? Nona? <laughs> she <laughs> caught what was coming. No, I apologize. Yeah. Sorry, it, it just worked out that way, I swear. It's all right. I'd probably kill me, too. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platypus uh, man... Jonas. <laughs> yeah? Tell the truth. How do you really feel about your dad marrying my mom and the fact that we're now de facto organ donors? Well, unless you turn out to be crazier than you look. That'd be hard. I think it's fine. Only known her one night and is already fine with it. What a guy. Is it my question now then? Yep. Okay, Clarissa. Um, last Ah, this is hours. playing it differently because I asked Jonas a question uh, rather than someone else. Uh, maybe something else. Or, yeah, maybe who's the last person you uh, hugged and said? Ah, uh, great. This should be good. Oh, will you all relax? I've made out with people since... God. Anyways, um, that would have to be Ryan Fisher, two weeks ago in Iggy's I death. I knew it. Yeah, well, he was there, and I was tired. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I already went. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything. I'm always torn when I play I'm these sure. kind of games. Do I, do I answer, like, I think I'm, the... Uh, 
fine with it, really. He, uh, the person I'm playing as would answer, or die answer how I would answer, which okay. would usually be yeah, to tell Clarissa uh, to go fuck herself. Thanks, but I guess. I'll try and be I diplomatic about it. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't. What are you talking about? What is this even? What does this have to do with anything? Why did your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just we'll tell. This is actually especially cruel because Clarissa actually you know knows why. this. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa. You... What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... Let's not stop like this. We should... Game's like... over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Fine. Whatever. Be Miss Pouty on the beach all night if you want. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. I appreciate your permission to be Pouty. Thank you. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt, or playing Ring Around the Rosie, happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Uh, if we find anything more interesting than that, I think we'll be too involved in our own fun to come get you. Well, wouldn't you know it, that's just fine by me. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I apologize for the dog barking in the background. <sighs> fine. Her so name is Clarissa. Young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? But like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh yeah, is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. So we're going to take a little bit of a look in the cave. Oh, I just realized you have to actually Alex, go through quite a bit of the cave. The caves, yes, let's get on with it. Yes, go. Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, I'll push you over. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. We never talked about John. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, so, he... So, the cave. Uh, What's your bet? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it going to be? It's Ren, so definitely 10. He gets excited easily, but he has the concentration of a goldfish. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, Ren, about Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, word for word. I think you should go for it. Oh, yeah? And girls like to feel uh, wanted, you know? We want to be I didn't touch to Ren and Nona's relationship oh, at all when I was playing before. Okay. You can influence it because I, I checked. There's an achievement yeah. for it. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am. Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Come on, Ren. The last thing I want is to have to chase your frail, screaming body into the ocean because you want to pet a fish or something. What? Jonas is gonna do it too. Right. Just to be clear here, he Jonas? he's eating a, a drug brownie. Uh, no thanks. I'm with her on the whole not flipping out and drowning myself thing. Okay. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know? Holy crap! Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This... It must be... Uh... Like... My running theory has always been like traffic reports from another galaxy, but... You know... If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's, like, weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they... they're fine where they are. 
Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds, like three years ago. It was for a couple of months, a year and a half ago. <sighs> she should just seriously get over it already. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Huh. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Are you... okay? I think so. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. Alright, almost there. Can't remember which number it is for this one. Look for the glow. There we are. So, yeah, it sounds, uh... It sounds... like painful. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous? No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there, like... A giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here because I. Yeah, yeah, Ren, you're a drug addict. I think I mismeasured the map. All right, so the stuff that happens in this cave shall be the last thing I show. So if it leaves you off with a little bit of a cliffhanger and you want to see how it plays out for yourself, you know where to get it. Fourteen pounds ninety nine. I would have preferred if it was like nine ninety nine. You know, just keep it under the ten pound mark. But it is a good experience despite it being short. They put a lot of effort in, they found a good way to tell a, a sort of spooky story without relying on cheap scares and whatnot. Jonas! Jonas! And you can kind of craft it to be a story about what you want it to be beyond the supernatural stuff. If you want it to be about Jonas and Alex, make it about that. If you want it to be about Ren, make it about that. If you want it to be about her getting over her dead brother or, you know, there's a lot of different ways you can send it. And I assume... Although it plays out differently, there's there'll be a set few ways it can end, which is why I'm not that interested in playing over the start again. But as I say, I would have liked to have been able to kind of see the other options you could take the finale. But when you finish the game, you lose your save. Can I just get off? Yep. No, just just get off though. There. No, 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 no. <laughs> get off and stay off. Okay. This way. Jonas, seriously, where are you? Almost there. Just the bottom. Yes, it is. Good. That's actually another thing, at some points it felt like the characters should be moving with more urgency than they do. If you hang around in an area long enough, I think it automatically speeds you up a little bit, but I prefer if it was that way all the time. And it, I, I feel like part of the reason it isn't is to increase longevity. There is also an optional objective sure. out towards the end of the game that I didn't do that might add on a little bit of extra time. It involves like going back and forwards and I just wanted to see where the story went. Why did you come off without waiting Jesus, for me? You scared me. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this how this happens. No, it's uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? Sounded like a dog to me. Maybe it is someone. You ever think of that? Maybe it's the crazy guy who lives here and he's gonna eat out our stomachs. <laughs> well, where is he then? In which of these tiny air holes does he hibernate? <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. 
I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. Okay, let's push on very quickly. See a man about a dog. What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the He's talking about what's up there. Um triangle light thing? Saw the man but not the dog. Um yes. It, it must be like a like a rainbow or like a reflection of light. Those um exist, right? Uh maybe. Until last week, I hadn't heard about parrotfish either, so I guess anything's possible. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Really? You think? Definitely. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Oh Get ready for some weirdness. Is this? Are you? Is this? You? Are you doing this? Should? Should I stop? No. This is awesome. I can't even. Like, what is? What? I know. I. I know. Like the end of Evangelion. So that is all I want to show off. Things start getting strange and get progressively stranger from this point on. What was that that we spoke to and opened up? Well, Alex. if you want to know for yourself, Alex. you will have to play the game for yourself. This has been Oxen Free. I do recommend it if you're willing to see past what I think is a slightly too expensive asking price. I thoroughly enjoyed it though, I recommend it. Check it out in the link below. Thanks for watching, and ta-ta for now.